you need to perfect holiness in the fear of God. Yes, you need to fear God. That is how you perfect Let holiness. Let me see the banner. Because if you fear God, you won't sin against God. See, the Bible says the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. See, you are Flip not even around. wise unless you fear God. Let me read that. Proverbs 1. Verse 7. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. Oh, man, we have so many people that despise wisdom. Oh, they despise instruction. Bible calls them fools. Oh, but the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. See, I come out here preaching the word of God, lift up the name of Jesus Christ, the only way to heaven. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, the life. No man comes to the Father but through me. It's only by Jesus Christ you can enter into the kingdom of God. No other way to heaven but by Jesus Christ. Yeah, way back. <laughs> oh, sorry, you'll get your wish. You don't want to go to heaven. You don't have to. See, the Bible says, choose this day whom you're going to serve. Are you going to serve God or are you going to serve yourself? See, Jesus said, if any man will come after me, let him deny himself. Take up his cross and follow me. So is it is it your position that you don't sin? Uh, I have sinned many but times in the past. you don't sin every day like everybody else? Not no. every day. Not, no. Thank God. Not every day. God delivers I take up sin. my cross Nonsense. daily and I follow yeah, Him. See, Jesus Nonsense. came. Well, if you're sinning every single day, the His devil can't do any worse than that. Sin. Can he not? The devil he can't do any worse so than sinning sin, every day. Why do you need first, to? Hey, the because I've sinned many, many he times in the past. Sin. And to my disgrace, even yeah. after yeah. becoming a Christian, I've sinned many times. This is Jesus in John chapter 5, Jesus told a man who was healed from lame from birth to go and sin no more lest the worst thing happen to you. So what was he supposed to say? Go and sin the Son if that's what you meant? He, he certainly, well in John 8 11 he said it again to a woman that they were about to stone to death so with real physical stones. So the sinner on the cross, the thief on the cross, no better did, was, than the was he, did he go to hell? Sin every day. Uh, no, he was in paradise with Jesus that day because he professed, he confessed his sin and uh, repented to Jesus. Probably the other one on the other side of him probably went to hell because he never God repented that we know of. He just kept mocking him. At the beginning, both of them were mocking. So Eventually, you one of them. Is that what you're saying? Uh, yeah, that's what the Bible says. So yeah. you're saying if you lose your salvation, you can if you if you can lose your salvation, then you had something to do to earn it, right? No. Yeah. If you can lose it, then you earned it. No, it's not. That's exactly right. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Okay. You don't you don't earn salvation. Yeah, yeah. you're just saying you you said one saying if, not not if sinning. I can, if I can lose my salvation, that means I earn my salvation. No, it doesn't. That's what you're saying. No, it doesn't. Yes, it is. That's what you're saying. No, it doesn't. Okay. Somebody salvation is is by grace alone. It's not earned. Right. So, uh, so how can I lose something that's given to me? You can do that all the time. I could I could I give I could give you a hundred dollar bill and you could lose it. So how can I lose it? You could lose a hundred dollar bill by sinning. By sinning. Yeah, by sinning. See, for, so, so yeah. you're saying that that I'm saved automatically and then I sin and lose. It. Is that what you're? That, I don't. That what you're no, I don't say? say you're sin. You're saved automatically. Most why people. Would God save most me people aren't saved. Again. I, I don't, that doesn't make sense. He didn't save you so you could sin again. He saved you to change your heart. So then to change why would I lose you. my salvation? Because you sin. Because That's you keep sinning. You, you, have you no choose. Position. You choose to keep sinning. If you choose to keep saying, see, Jesus, no, you're you're calling God a liar. See, Jesus told the woman caught in adultery to go and sin no more. Not go and sin less. Not go and try harder. Not go and I don't pay attention to your sin anymore. Not say this little, not say this little sinner's prayer. Any, like, what happens? If I sin, then I need to do what it says in 1 John 1, 9. So how many times have if, you been if I confess my sin, I am faithful and just to forgive. He's for, faithful and just to forgive so me of that sin and cleanse me saved? from that unrighteousness. How many times did you say you've been saved? Uh, I don't know. To my disgrace, I've sinned many times since being a Christian. And uh, But right now, as I speak to you today, I have no unrepented of sin on my record. So right now, I have no unrepented of. He's, uh, I confess my sin, and he's faithful and just to forgive me of my sin.
say and cleanse me from unrighteousness. But if I keep sinning and don't confess it, then he's not faithful and just to forgive me of that sin and cleanse me from unrighteousness. First John 1 9 is a conditional statement. You can't have it the same way. You can't have him being faithful to forgive you whether you confess it or not. Jesus even told Peter that uh, uh, you know that he would deny him, and the Bible says that if you deny me before men, I will deny you before my Father who's in heaven. If Peter would have died that night uh, before he repented of, of uh, denying knowing Jesus, he would go to the same hell as Judas ended up going to. So. Uh, well, then, what, well, then what's the Bible verse mean when it says, if, if you, Jesus, if if you deny me before me, men, if you deny me before men... What's the Bible men, mean when it says, no, nothing in creation can remove me from it? From yeah, it. that's... What, what, what's it saying? What's, it, what's that mean? It's also a conditional it, it, statement. It interacts this with is, that text. It's also a conditional statement. When Jesus said, my sheep hear my voice, and they follow no, me... No, you're not interacting and, with the text. You're picking and choosing. No, I'm not. What's it mean I'm when giving Jesus you a said, Bible verse what's, from Jesus. What's it mean when Jesus says, when, when the Bible says... Nothing in creation can remove me. What's that mean? It doesn't say you can't leave him yourself yeah. by your well, sin. Nothing. I'm, I, am I not a part of creation? You can leave him by am, your am sin. Am I created? It's, that's a, am I created? See, you're, you're, it says creation. See, here's am what I happens. Created? Here's what happens, Jim. Here's what small, happens when you don't have no, answers. No, and you want to talk to him. No, in small town everything. America, we knew yeah. this would be a problem. That's right, why I brought this town banner. America, they all know. Like, no, at least. Oh, hold on a second. No. Uh, Jesus said, my sheep hear my voice and they follow me. And no one can snap. Him out of my hand. That. That's a conditional statement. If you're that's sinning, Jesus' voice will never it lead you to sin. And or but. Yes. That's not conditional. Jesus' voice will never lead you to sin. So if you're sinning, you're not listening to his voice. He'll never lead you into sin. So if you're sinning, you're, you're sin not right following now. him. So if you're not listening you're to his voice you're and you're right not now. following him, then he then uh, he's not what you're not one of his. Jesus said your, your Bible probably doesn't even have Jesus time, said he who has my commandments and keeps them. Yep, it is he who loves me, and he who loves me will be loved by my Father, and I will love him and manifest myself to him. Yeah. If you want to keep on sinning every day, the devil can't do any worse than that. Is that right? And Jesus is going to say, depart from me on judgment day, and the angels will bind you hand and foot. So, so uh, see, so I'm telling... saved, always saved is a lie. Yeah, it's, it's a very... you want it to be. No, I don't want it to okay. be. Yeah, yeah, I don't do. want it to be, so no. what does it mean when... when whether heaven or hell depends on whether or not once saved, always saved is a true a truth or a lie. I want once saved, always saved to be true. My I life, know. yes, I do. You want to stay I, here with your camera? I, I, no, no, no I want, want the world to see. I no, want the world to see small to see town you, Christianity. Right That's what you're doing. I'm not pointing the camera at me. Right. Uh, I want the world to see small town American Christianity and its low standard of holiness. The Bible says that without holiness, no man shall see God. If you're sinning every so you're day, holy. every Yes, I am. Holy. Yes, so through, you're Christ. You're, through Christ. You're, yes. you're above everybody else. No, I'm not above yeah. everybody else. No, but I, I am above anyone who's living in sin every single day. Is that right? Most definitely, so you yeah. don't live in sin at all? No, I take up my cross daily and I follow him. Obviously. And if I'm stupid enough to sin, then I do what it says in 1 John 1, 9. If I confess my sin, he is faithful and just to forgive me of my so, sin and cleanse me from all unrighteousness. So, what's so that's, a, that's again... <laughs> Well, I'm, I'm going to ask you questions. Yeah. Well, What's the your five, definition of Calvinism? Well, I'm a zero-point Calvinist. There's four-point Calvinist There's, and five-point Calvinist. So what's your definition? I, I'm a zero-point Calvinist. Okay. Uh, I, I believe that every, all five points of two are, are unbiblical. Points? What are the five the points? The total depravity, unconditional election, limited atonement, irresistible grace, and per, uh, perseverance of the saints. I believe all five of them are unbiblical. But probably the issue of There's, Calvinism— You must not read the Bible. What's Romans 8 say? <laughs> there, Romans 8, 28, yeah, what's that? Well, at Romans 8, 1, no, which Romans most 8, people 20, only read half of. I'm asking you to interact with the text, and you keep going to something else. Yeah, what what's Romans, Romans 8, 28 say? 8, what? 8, 13. 8, 13. I, I, I've got... Interact with that text. All right, hold on. Chain of Let me give you Romans say? 8, 1 first. No, no, I want you to interact with what I gave you first. This is, this is my preach. I get to talk about anything this I want. Not, I, I'm, See, I'm and most, with you. most of your Calvinistic uh, versions of the Bible take, only give you half of Romans 8, 1, where it says, okay. uh, it says, There is therefore now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus, right. who walk not according to the flesh, but according to the Spirit. Okay. See, most, uh, most of the modern How's that versions... How Calvinism? That's, well, you, you because makes sense. Because if you're if you're sinning every day, like you proclaim you are, then you're by definition walking in the flesh and not I walking in the day, spirit. And I say that because I'm honest. 
uh, then you be, then you better repent. You no. better repent quick. You need to get a hold of yourself you, and understand what you, you are. You seem to be okay with the idea that you sin every day. Because Jesus saves me. Uh, he's I not. If you're I rest on the cross and if Jesus, you're, uh, not on my own. You're not relying on you're, Jesus you're for anything. On you're your still sinning. Self. You're no different you're than any other yourself. heathen out there. You're out here with this You're look no me, different. No, I'm not. You're depending on your you're, own. Self. No, I'm not. Apparently, you can save no, yourself. Not. You don't even need Jesus. No, right? no, no. You need Jesus because you sin every single day. Right. You, by your own admission, so, sin every single day. So, are you ever going to interact with Romans 8:28? All right, go ahead and read. I don't have. I don't have a free hand to get my Bible. Okay. So the golden chain of redemption, right? It says. It says what? Do you know? You know Go ahead and read what, it. What, what's Romans 9 say? Do you know what that says? The whole chapter? You want me to receive the, the whole Why chapter? Why not? You apparently know the whole Bible. I don't have the whole Bible memorized. No, I don't. Okay. All right, go ahead and read it. Let's. And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God. Yep. That's right. To a them that are called according to His God. purpose. I got mine too. Hold on. Yeah, you're so not. If you love God, you're not going to sin against That's God. That's right. Yeah. It's like Jesus. Hey, I love my wife, but I'm committing adultery against her. That's right. You're, you're, against you're an adulterer you're against right. God. Yeah. You're so, faithful to her. Yep. Be yep. faithful to Jesus God. said, He who has my commandments and keeps them, it is He who loves me. So if you're sinning every single day, you're not keeping His commandments. So by definition, you don't love God. You don't love God if you're sinning every day. The drunkard and the atheist and the fornicator and the and the Satanist sin every day too. Where says, for if you live after the flesh, yep. ye shall die. Yep. But if by through the Spirit you do mortify the deeds of the body, ye shall live. Read uh, Hebrews 10:26. Hebrews 10:26. Go to that one. Nope. For those who are sinning every day. Here's a good Bible verse for all of you who okay. sin so every day and thought what one day. quoted is Romans 8.22, so we'll go there. So, what, Romans so 8, we know that all creation has been grown together in the pains of childbirth and so now, and not only creation, but we ourselves, uh, who have firstborn in the Spirit, right? right. First fruits of the Spirit. Hebrews 10.26. And we wait, wait, wait till he can, wait till he's sons. actually listening. The redemption of, the, uh, of our bodies, right? The redemption of our bodies. What is sanctification? Like, you're not, you're not sanctified, sanctified from anything. Are you're you sinning sanctified? every day. Yes. You, you're sanctified. Yes. You're completely. I live. Obedient. I live obediently to God, and if I sin, I confess that sin immediately. I rec I acknowledge it as sin. Really? I confess it immediately, and the Bible says He's faithful to forgive me of that sin and cleanse me from that unrighteousness. Uh, but the better the better option is actually to stop sinning, to take up your cross daily and obey Him and follow Him, than to keep okay. sinning every day and then saying sorry on All Sunday right, so, morning. So, so, Let's go. The Hebrews says, and we know that for those who love God, all things work together for good. You don't love for those God. Those who called according to His purpose, for those whom He foreknew, He also predestined to be conformed to the image of His Son. You don't right? love God. Uh, you interact. Inter inter this is what the text says: For those whom He foreknew, He also predestined to be conformed to the image of His Son, in order that He might be the firstborn among many brothers. And those whom He predestined, He also called. Those whom He called, He also justified. Those whom He justified, He also glorified. Yeah. Where does that say if I agree with it? Well, Where does one, that say if or and? That says all of those things he did. He didn't call. He called. He, uh, he, pre, he predetermined the method of salvation. That's not what it yeah. That didn't say I predetermined the method. Yes. He yeah. said he yeah. predestined yeah. them. All of, it said, yeah. all of those. You're a cherry picker. Yeah. Yeah. See, yeah. This, is, this, is, picker. this is the level of unholiness that Calvin is. You want. Right, We're preaching holiness and obedience to God. Hebrews, you're preaching sin. Hebrews 10, 26. You'll be, you'll be much more yeah, popular yeah. with this crowd if saying you're that you sin. sin you're with the devil. Hebrews 10, 26. The devil wants you to on your stomach. God wants you to live holy. Hebrews 10, 26, Jimbo. Hebrews 10, 26. For if we sin willfully, yeah. after we have received the knowledge of the truth, there remaineth no more sacrifice for sin. But a certain fearful looking for the judgment and fiery indignation yep, which shall devour, devour the adversaries. Yep. He that despised Moses' law died without mercy under two or three witnesses. How of how much more punishment yep. suppose ye shall ye be thought worthy who hath trodden under the foot the Son of God and counted the blood of the covenant wherewith was sanctified an unholy yep. thing. Sitting every day, and trampling the blood of Christ of underfoot. Second uh, Peter two. Second Peter chapter two, starting in verse nineteen. So, uh, let me just finish this video. Second Peter two. I want to finish with this guy. He's, this is. America needs to see this guy. Second Peter, Second Peter 2, starting in verse 19. Hey, if this 
just Christianity. For, I don't want a part of it. All right, okay, good. you don't, don't have to. You. For if after they have escaped the pollutions of the world through the knowledge of the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, they are again entangled therein and overcome. The latter end is worse for them than the beginning. Yep. For it had been better for them not to have known the way of righteousness than after they have known it to turn from the holy commandment delivered unto them. But it has happened unto them according to the true proverb. Mr. Perfect, the dog has returned to its vomit and the soul that washed to her wallet. You'll actually mother. end up in a worse level of hell if you become saved and then return to your sin and die in that condition than if you were never saved to begin with. That's 2 Peter 2, 19 through 22. It most certainly does. It's exactly word for word what it says. Yes. Levels of hell. Then go get a banner that says you sin every sin. Go get a banner that says I sin every day. I'll bet you'll I'll bet you'll get a lot. No, you sin every day. So look at you said you sin every day. His word. No, they don't. No, they don't. Just because you sin every day. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I'm not proud at all. All three this of you is humiliating. Your your banner. This, this is, is humiliating your having nonsense. to deal with people like you. You deal with people like you. Yeah, wicked. It's tough to deal with real wicked Christian, sin every day. It's hard. Hold this. it's hard to deal with a real Christian, ain't it? Uh, a real yeah. Christian. Whoops. That's right. Yeah, yeah that's real right. Christians a don't real good sin example. every single day. A real good that's right.